Welcome to Shortcomings in the Platform. Here comes BaseApp. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, right now there's a lot of, let's call it development, uh, going on at Microsoft trying to to rearrange stuff. We With BC24, we got the new Business Foundation app and stuff are moving around. We, when, when we got AL, all the objects were kind of sorted into the, the base app and then system applications, where system application are the more technical pieces. But it's kind of fun to see that if you go poking in uh, in base app, there are still a bunch of um, of things that you say they, they have no reason to be in base app other than apparently at some point they, they needed to be somewhere and uh, they might have an unholy uh, combination of stuff that is hard to uh, to unravel the dependencies and stuff like that but it's, it's kind of it's kind of fun to go poking in that so that's what we're going to do in this video um, and uh, I have look let's see where my screen is right now Wow, here is, I have loaded, I'm just gonna look at a few uh, few pieces here. Um, so this is the base app version 24, um, and I've selected code units. And a, a quick glance here, so those, those are clearly, if, 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 if something is actually accounting, uh, the very wide term. If something is ERP functionality, customers, journals, items, ledgers, so on, that's that's clearly the accounting platform. If something is very technical, then it should be system app. If something is, and and now I'm just going to use Microsoft is business fun, uh, foundation stuff then it should probably go into the new foundation app. Um, number series uh, is one of the things that Microsoft have moved. Um, but but let's take a look at what, what we can find if we just go poking in, in dark places here. Um, and the first one is, um, is Type Helper, a, a, a classic. Uh, type Helper is really stuff that is created because the platform couldn't do things that the platform should do. Um, type helper has a lot of functions converting uh, date time uh, based on different cultures. Uh, there's more conversion, evaluating strings to different things uh, with different cultures, localized, well, it's, Remove the switch thing here. Uh, compare date time. Hang on, that that should totally be more be the language almost, right? Um, format date uh, based on cultures. Get time and functions uh, stuff like that. There's also like URL encode and decode HTML. Uh, uh, encode, decode, and escape data strings and stuff like that. You know, has no place in the ERP application. Um, by the way, this is one of my pet issues with the uh, with this. Right, we have a function that clearly you give it a text and it returns a text, but it also works as a var. So so it also modifies your parameter going into the function. This is really really bad um and annoying um and and stuff like this should of course be either directly in the platform or at least in in, in system ad like bitwise or uh, I know that this is not the, the the thing you do most most often in a, in an ERP system but now we work with web services and stuff like that, uh, communicating with external systems. Sometimes you have to do a bitwise or. Uh, that should be that should be a platform function, but right now it's sitting in 
BASAP of all places, the, the most wrong, if you can uh, uh, have different degrees of wrong, place to put something like this. Uh, and you might ask, why is this then just not at least moved to system app? And sometimes it's because, let's search for record. And then let's see here, there you go. Like there is a dependency on, uh, there, there is at least one function here that goes in and grabs the general ledger setup. Um, and maybe that should be done through a uh, an event or or other way to uh, to make a loser coupled uh, relationship. I can't remember. I think that's the only one here. Probably that's it. Um, so that single function get amount format LCI with user local locale lo locale. Um, makes this code unit sit in, in, in the uh, in the base app. But again, this should really be a platform, most of this. This shouldn't be be something like the the base app. Anyway, let's let's continue. Um, general journal, ISM journal, all the classic things. And then suddenly have we we have error message management, error message handler, error context. Last, last error. So there's a bunch of very generic, uh, and we can use the, the record thing again to, to see if there's something. Uh, it looks like it's most, mostly its own tables. I can't. So, error message management. Again, why is this in the, in, in the base app? Uh, uh, and I think there's actually one more here uh, that's also inter interesting. Lock-in management. So this is one of you remember if you had all the way back we had code unit one and code unit one kind of got split into multiple things. Uh, and login management is also we can actually just see it up here. That's probably easier. Uh, See what what kind of relationships does this thing have? So it's clearly this might be the right spot, but I think there are some fairly technical bits in here also. Uh, show terms and condition. Uh, some platform thing. It's not really the, a, a base app thing either. Um, uh, or maybe this is more business foundation. Some of these things. Um, time usage might not be be m more candidate for a, a business foundation than it is for the actual actual app. Um, let's see what other examples I dug up. Um, and and I just I, I I took a selection because there's actually hundreds, not hundreds, but there's. No, there's a fair amount. Um, let's go into what oh, I looked at. A mail here. How about mail? So emailing. At least that's business foundation, right? Uh, uh, but again, I think if we do the, the, the trick here, uh, well, apparently it needs a contact in some cases. So there's functions to to get get uh, emails from contacts. Um, but a lot of the stuff that goes on in this code unit has nothing to do with, with that. That is way more, and again, we can, we can we can look at the dependencies and see hey contact. It's probably a way better method of doing this. Um, so there's probably a lot of things that could go through the new business foundation uh, app with a bit of a um, a bit of a massaging. Um, the last thing I want to actually mention here, um, and and this is this is one where. 
I might be slightly guilty. Um, well, actually, there's two things. So the 700 range, at least the start of 700, is kind of interesting. The first one is called page management. That sounds very generic, but page management is is a very you can see there's a bunch of dependencies here, um, and and this is basically you know you can do page dot run. Maybe you know that, maybe you don't. I think there's a video on that. Where you can do page dot run and then you say page zero and comma a record. And then uh, the, the platform will say, okay, do I have a look up uh, uh, or a drop down? I can't remember this one would take the, the drop down. I think it'll take the drop down. Uh, page ID and then just show the data and that. and. The problem with certain page, certain tables is that that's probably the, the wrong. Uh, the platform doesn't have a, a fine tuned enough way of telling where to what to use. So this is kind of the uh, the the magic glue uh, code unit that figures out a lot of things. With what uh, what page should we use in certain cases? You see the here is the. Uh, um, well, if it's a general general template, then grab the general general templates list and so on. You see, to, if there's this table, then uh, exit this page and so on. And then you can get into, uh, like, if it's table 36, well, then it depends on the document type. So we need uh, to say, send the, the, the code or the order, the invoice or credit memo sales blanket or uh, blanket sales order or sales return order. So. There's a lot of glue here that is basically written because there isn't a, a great way of registering and that a page could register itself as, as having, hey, I'm, I'm the default page for this table with this filter or something like that. Um, so, so we have like list with, oh, in this case and that, then go to this page and this is the purchase one. Oh, no, these are something else. Oh, this is a general journal. So depending on uh, on the template type, then you get to different uh, general journals. Uh, very practical. I'm not saying I'm, I'm just saying that it, it's it's kind of a pseudo platform function that doesn't exist. So now uh, it exists here in the base app. Then there's a few one here in the seven start of 700 and, and I want to look at this one memory stream wrapper. If there's something that is as far away from accounting as it can be is probably memory stream wrapper. Um, so this was here, here. So here's the fun part. I think that's fun. A ha ha fun. Um, you see, the, you, if you look at this, you see this is 67 nicely written lines of code, right? This is this is code quality of the highest order because it's written by yours truly. Microsoft back in 2018 ish um, tried to do a uh, a predecessor for the current open source. Uh, open source initiative that they're running now. Uh, so if you have something that you wanted to contribute to uh, uh, to Microsoft, especially because .NET goes away. That was kind of the part of the thing that .NET goes away, does not work in the cloud. Uh, is there anything we need? Um, and I was using memory stream and other things. So uh, I submitted this memory stream wrapper to Microsoft because it uses memory stream from, from .NET. But somehow this thing still sits in base app. Uh, and, and it has a couple of friends, I, I think that came at the same. Uh, there's a dictionary uh wrapper there's a red, red x split wrapper uh so even though we have the new red x stuff sitting in 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 system app we have this thing 
uh, still here. So, so, and and, and maybe this video is, is oh yeah, why did you create that video? Because all this cleanup is is ready for twenty five or whatever. Uh, but it's 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 kind of funny because we I do this myself. So here's the thing. Uh, the it's so easy to go and say, oh, the platform is missing this function and that function and, and so on. Uh, and that's kind of a uh, unfair statement now because the platform we have at this point in time is super capable. And it's very, very rare that, and, and being completely truthful, because there's a lot of stuff I would like myself to create, but if they stop adding new features to the platform, it will not prevent me from feeding my kids next year. Not at all. It's, it's a very good fe feature set. We have. And, and if there's something you're missing, we can build it and we can see Microsoft doing the same thing. And, and, and for sure, some of these things also comes into play that um, the the app guys at Microsoft need something and they ask platform probably and platform we oh we can make that in version 27 and the app guys decide okay we'll just build our own little thing because we cannot wait for the platform uh, and and the same thing that I build something because I need it and and then it goes into one app or two apps or whatever it works uh, so I totally know how these things how this work but it's just interesting now that we see the the movement with the new uh, business foundation app that there's suddenly a lot of stuff that still needs to exit out of uh, out of base app and and some of it needs to on the way be decontaminated from you know whatever code unit that had a single record uh, function that was, that was type helper right uh, and and then you can have the options. Okay, the stuff we have in Type Helper, maybe we need to. If anybody from the platform team is still on on the the video after seventeen minutes, should it be AL code that does a bitwise bitwise or or perhaps that's something that the language or whatever. Anyway, uh, that's my opinion. So. Uh, those are some shortcomings and some interesting, perhaps misplaced bits uh, in, in Base App. Uh, check this one out. That's another good video to, uh, to, to do. There's a lot of ale hacking going on in this one, I, I promise. See you there. Take care. Bye.